I believe you should celebrate God because he has a reason. As the author steward and the keeper, I ask this author to speak on your behalf. Amen. This author is not just another author. There is no other author, even in Africa. This one speaks for Kenya and speaks for Africa, and it will speak even for the world. Amen. And so I command the author to speak on your behalf. I command the speak uh, the uh, the author to release your healing because you should be healed. Healing is the bread of the children of God. You should be happy. You should be peaceful. You should prosper. You should thrive. You should prevail. You should have dominion. You only need understanding that there is a God of the altar. And once you respect him, the altar starts to speak. So let God and his enemies I would like to invite His Excellency to say something about it. Even though I am the steward of the altar, he is the one who is called into this office, the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, and we honor you for allowing us. You are the one who asked that we come and be here today, and we really respect and honor you. Let God and His enemies Amen. Thank you. Uh, please be seated. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Dorcas. Our leaders are present and the congregation. Good morning. Good morning. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Uh, thank you very much. I'm honored that uh, you are able to come and join us for this service on the national altar. And uh, as I sat here, I reflected that this is history repeating itself. Because we are right here. As our president's victory was being challenged in the Supreme Court in September uh, 2022. And we came here to pray for prayers and God saw us through. Um, I want to say that uh, these things that are happening are things that we have seen before. And uh, during those very difficult moments that we had with President William Ruto, everything was against him. The state machinery, the deep state, public resources, and no manner of weapons and arsenal. But he had God on his side. Amen. I am very persuaded, very persuaded that um, God, the Almighty, that saw through President William Ruto in very difficult circumstances has gone nowhere. That God is still present. He is on the throne, he is merciful, and his might is not in question. Yes. I want to call upon the people of Kenya to remain peaceful, to love one another, and despite all these happenings, irrespective of the outcome, the people of Kenya must remain peaceful and united and love one another. Specifically, I want to appeal to our brothers and sisters in the Rift Valley, where there are many communities who live there, to leave this context to lead us. Our people must stay together. They must continue loving one another. They must continue marrying and getting children. They must continue doing business together. And they must always seek for peace and peaceful coexistence. We've enjoyed a lot of peace in this country. 
and the politics of the day should not in any way threaten our peace and our peaceful coexistence. Kenya is bigger than all of us. We have no other country other than this one. Finally, I want to say that um, um, in our work, this work we came two years ago, it's challenging work. And in our zeal to work, in our commitment to work, probably in one way or another we have wronged somebody. I want to say to my brother, President William Ruto, if in our zeal to work, I have wronged you, please find it in your heart to forgive me. to say if my spouse in our duties for the boy child and her program has wronged you in a way, find it in your heart to forgive her. <clears throat> to our members of parliament, if in the course of duty through our utterances and actions, we have in one way or another upset you, all wronged you. Find it in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> if our brothers who did not support the president and myself in the way my region and the River Valley supported him and probably you find that in appreciating our people and the support they give the president and I probably our utterances made you feel uncomfortable we did not mean bad we were simply appreciating the people who voted for us and if you feel that we rubbed you the wrong way. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> to the people of Kenya, in our service across the country, as we serve you, if there is anything we have done or said that you found unpalatable, that you found unacceptable, please find it in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> Finally, I want to say that Kenya is a country of the rule of law. I have faith in our courts of law. We have competent men and women in our judiciary who I believe will uphold the Constitution, protect it with their zeal, and always uphold and protect the will of the Kenyan people. Article 1 of the Constitution says the sovereignty of this country rests with the people. And the institutions like Parliament and Senate exercise that power as a matter of delegation so that we have a good country of rule of law as opposed to the state of nature. I appeal to all our independent institutions to uphold the rule of law and remain true to the Constitution so that we don't 
get institutions where we can have a country that feels that the rule of the jungle is in application. So far, it is my observation that we have a very patriotic judiciary, a judiciary that upholds the rule of law and the constitution and always upholds the supremacy of our constitution. And I believe that Kenya will be a country of the rule of law. I therefore want to thank you for your prayers, for your support. And uh, my foster daughters and the children, I want to apologize as a politician that your names are everywhere for no reason. Your privacy has been defiled as I fight my political battles. I want to apologize. But there's nothing you can do because you got married to a politician. <laughs> I'm very pained that my late brother, Governor Drito Gashagwa, a good man, a man who worked very hard for his family, who died eight years ago. His will that he made in privacy is in every newspaper. His properties that he worked so hard to leave for his family are everywhere in the newspaper. I wish those who pursue me could just pursue me and allow my little brother to rest in peace. That I feel. And therefore, good people, thank you very much for your prayers. And God will see us through. Amen. I have no doubt in my mind. I have no doubt in my mind, and I want to encourage our office staff not to feel discouraged. Let's just continue working because we have a duty to serve the people of Kenya equally with competence, with commitment, because we owe it to the people of Kenya. Let me introduce the leaders present here. We have uh, the governor of Nyeri, Mutai Kahiga, who came to check on me. We have uh, the honorable member for Kipipiri, Wanjiko Mohea. We have the senator of Moranga, Joe Nyoto. We have the senator of Kiambu, Karungo Adhano. We have uh, the Iron Lady of Gedungori, <laughs> the one of Nodri, <laughs> Gadoni wa Mushomba. We have another steel lady, Chuma, from Kirinyaga. Where is she? Jane Jerry Minor. That little tiny girl is also a lawyer. Uh, we have the senator of Lamu, Honorable We have the former senator of Kakamega and secretary general of UDA, Leo Malala. Who else have I left behind? Ah, uh, we have uh, Bazenga. <laughs> Uh, the MP for Embakasi North, the Honorable James Gakuya. We also have the Speaker of the Nyeri County Assembly, the Honorable Shoei.
thank you very much uh, for coming to be with us here. And uh, with those very many remarks, thank you very much. May God bless you and bless you abundantly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Excellencies. With that, we come to the end of our service. Yes, I, I want to bring the Father, Moffat, to close the service with us for us. Thank you. As I bring an end to this service, our God is in this place. As we allow him to arise in our lives, our enemies will scatter. Sickness, disease, you could be experiencing in your house, in your home, in your family. There are some things doctors are unable to do, God can do them.